Welcome to the A Creative channel where we like to invest our time in creating cool things. Uh, so I've had a problem with this wax like violet resin from Frozen. Um, so I don't know whether it's setting, I've got a bad batch, but either way it has, uh, you know, caused a few deep scratches into my FEP plastic sheet and the bottom of my vat. Uh, you know, when I first tried to have a look at it, it looked really complicated or people were making it sound complicated, but it isn't. So, you know, uh, stick with this video and, you know, we'll show you how I changed it. So yeah, like I was saying, uh, this isn't rocket science. Um, so, you know, I didn't want to bore you with a video of how to change this, but I think people are generally concerned about when they need to change it. But, um, you know, for Frozen Sonic Mighty 4K, it really isn't that complicated and there's nothing to be worried about having to change. So, I've changed it now, I've done three successful prints, uh, even though the brand new, uh, you know, sheet of plastic that I got for it uh, already had some, you know, light scratches in it. I wasn't too happy about that, being a brand new uh, sheet, it cost about 50 bucks. Um, you know, I got, I got uh, enough make four out of it, but so I think I think all four uh, are going to have some, you know, light scratches. Uh, no issues. So, practically getting into this, I'm, uh, you know, I've undone it. I'm cleaning now, because it's definitely resin got underneath there, and I'm using the bottom of the plate uh, as a template to cut it out. So, I mean, it's, it's pretty basic. Nothing, uh, nothing too tricky there. So, uh, take, make sure you take off the two sides of the um, plastic. Uh, and then you just lay it on there. And then pretty much, I think the real trick to this is like a gasket change in, in an engine bay or a, you know, gearbox is that you, you're crisscrossing from you know, uh, nut to nut to, from screw to screw. So you, you know, you, you're applying tension and, you know, from one end to the other um, as you go. And you're not screwing the screws in too, too tight to begin with. You're just getting it in there, uh, you know, going back and, for back and, and forwards until you uh, are ready to tighten and then when you're ready to tighten you're, you're going to repeat that same thing as that you're going to go backwards and forwards um, and you know I'm just checking the tension uh, as I do that as well so not overly complicated I think uh, you know most people who've ever changed the gasket in an engine bay um, you know this is pretty would be pretty easy for them so I'm just checking all the screws are tightened to it and I'm checking now the the tension on it and the the sound of that drum, uh, which I've left a little recording in at the end there. So you can see some of the imperfections that are in a brand new depth plate. But uh, like I said, there was no 